Okay, at this point, we've cut the pocket out for the neck, and the next step is to cut the binding and purfling channel. We're going to start initially with the binding channel, and that binding cut is cut on both the top and the back. And what we use is a special rabbiting bit set up with very specific bits. Now what I've done is I've cut on a scrap piece a little channel and you can see that the binding sits right in that channel and it sits slightly proud of the top. That way there once the binding is on we can scrape that and at that point it will be flush with the top and back and it will look real nice. So our first cut will be for the binding and we'll use that same setup for both the top and the back. So just a couple of quick tips when you go to do this. Try and think of your guitar having a center line at each one of these high points on the guitar. And basically when you go to do this router operation, there's still a little bit of overhang. Some, some folks actually flush trim this. I found that using the, the binding cutter, um, you don't even need to flush trim as long as it's reasonably close. Okay, But you've got to start at that high point and work to the low. High point, work to the low. Same here. High point to the low. High point to the low. And by doing that, you're not into a climb cut, which could potentially take a big piece out of this. So, you'll see when I, I fire up the router, we're going to start at this high point and work to the low. So here we go. Okay, at this point we've made our cut for our binding, which is quite a bit taller, almost two and a half times taller than the purfling. So there's two adjustments. One is for the bearing, which I'll change out. Just remove the screw, pull the bearing off. And in the bearing kit, there are three additional bearings. One, which is this one, is used for the binding. And then there's three others that are set for the purfling. And it really depends 
on how many pieces of purfling you want to put on. Now in this case you have white black, white black, and white. So there's five pieces here. And what we're going to be shooting for is four. So what we'll do at this point, this is a very important adjustment, is to not just do the binding bearing but also to reset the height. Because if you maintain the same height that you had for the binding and now you cut in that much deeper on the top, the top will fall right in and your guitar unfortunately will have irreversible consequences. So we don't want to do that. So we'll just bring up the height of the router and we'll do a quick test cut. Now you can see there's a second ledge. Okay, we're looking for two things. One is the height, which that'll leave us just proud of the top, which is real good. And then number two is that we can put four pieces. If I take one of these away, it'll be perfectly flush. So perfect. So we have the right setup. So the other thing to bear in mind is purfling only goes on the top. Okay, so we're going to make the same cut, same technique from high to low. And you'll notice when I was doing the binding, I come all the way to the bottom and then I'd retrack it all the way around. That way there he makes really a second cut and really gets a nice clean cut the second pass through. So at this point, we'll take our router. channels, one for the binding, one for the purfling, and if we peel one of these layers off, set the contrasting black against the white, everything is ready to stack and start gluing. So it's a bit of a messy process, but Essentially, we'll get some glue in those channels, and you want to try and get glue in between each of those layers as you go to set this on. So, um, it's nice to have a second set of hands to kind of help you do this.